We haven't talked a lot about this week in in LSU reporting to campus because you know there's not a lot of information that's going to come out of those those voluntary workouts. But there has been some reports of some of the the the, the guys showing up and and specifically the true freshmen um, that that have come in. Guys like BJ uh, BJ Ojolari, hey. um, Coy Moore, and Kayshawn Butte by all accounts look okay. really good coming in as true freshmen. You know who I've heard really positive things about T. No, who is Cole Taylor. Because we've been yeah, talking, love him. We've Big been old talking lanky boy. about Eric Gilbert so much, and Gilbert deserves all of the attention and all of the conversation and everything that goes into to being excited about Gilbert and what he's going to make as far as an impact goes next season. Uh, but Cole Taylor kind of under the radar was the other tight end in this class. And, and I think it's, you know, for, for LSU fans, it, it's still kind of a grace period of talking about tight ends having a true role in the offense. And, and last year with Thad Moss, he had such a big impact, and he played big in the big games. And, you know, with the, the evolution of that position in LSU's offense, you've got two bona fide guys now in Gilbert and, and Taylor that really understand how to, how to play the position from a pass-catching standpoint, like a true weapon at, at catching the ball from the tight end spot. I mean, that, that has always habitually been a, a blocking position for, for LSU offensively. This is now where you've got playmakers in those positions. And Gilbert is going to get all the attention, and he should, but Taylor is fine being under the radar, and he's another big body, big frame yeah. that you can use. So it's, uh, it's actually another bit of a we, – we talked about some of the Saints and LSU echoes of each other in terms of offensive personnel and how they'll stress you next season. But yeah. even at tight end specifically, when you look closer, there's some similarities, right? We, we mentioned that Jared Cook this year should be a one-on-one -on -one monster. Well, the same can be said of Eric Gilbert. And Cole Taylor, on the other hand, at 6'7", ton of potential, a bit more of a project. Well, the same could be said about Adam Trapman, the, was, uh, the, the Saints yeah. later round pick that they traded away like four picks to go up and get. And Liam Shanahan was, was a signing hey. that I think in the building and, and inside LSU football maybe have gotten an, an eye roll from a couple of people. Or it's like, you know, like, what's this going to do? Yeah. What's this going to be? Is it is just a move on depth? But the closer you get to fall camp and the more concern you hear about what they have around the center position and then simply just being able to get the snap, I think that Shanahan has a true opportunity to make a, a chant or make a play to getting on the field well, at the center position because the thing that jumped out to the LSU people that they couldn't see on the Zoom calls yeah. was that he's 6'5", 280. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a big boy. I mean, he's got the size, dude. Um... And if you are a bit worried, the center's interesting in that since it's a position that requires almost as much, uh, like, like mental, like when you think about how you're having to commit your body's resources, some positions are almost purely physical. Some you got to commit more resources to the mental aspect of things. Center's definitely that latter. And, and what that means is you don't have to be the most physically dominant if you can bring it in that other area. As a Harvard Econ grad, you imagine that he can – and if you surround him with two really good guards, so like an Ed Ingram, who Colt Kublik had on his top five guards, the SEC, and, and then I don't know, does Carl Thomas or Anthony Bradford or somebody win that other guard position? If those are very good, then even if Liam's not the best player, he may be your best option at center because he, his CQ exchange is the most consistent or he can make the calls uh, better than the others. But this all has to be sorted out. But, yeah, it does seem like they're maybe a bit higher on Liam than they were. Liam Shanahan, more like Liam Sam a ham, huh? Huh? Sam? Sam? Huh? Liam? I don't know. Uh Liam, we Sammy Flavors. She's single. If you oh, want to wow. hit up if you want to hit up wow. off the bench. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm trying to play matchmaker. And you're pissed off at me? Oh yeah. my god. Y'all yeah. cannot play matchmaker on live air right now. Okay, that's I, I, you're right. I, I apologize. Change the subject. 